Hey everyone! Uh, once again, sorry it's been so long since there's been a new video. Um, this one's going to be pretty short. I had a quick request uh, this week from a friend of mine to do a video on how to spot authentic hoodoo or conjure oils versus buying ones that are not very high quality. Um, everybody has their personal preference and there are several brands that have been out for a very, very long time. And I have no issue if you have something that works for you and you have always used it and you love it, then that's great. I'm just, I just want to sort of clarify what I look for uh, when I'm making my oils. Um, I have a full line of oils on my site. Uh, there will be a link on this video to my site. I have about 400. Um, I make all of them in small batches by hand. Uh, they're all made with a, a base and then um, with essential oils which have to be diluted in order to apply to the skin, which is one way you can use my oils. I do have a video on uses for my Hoodoo oils. If you need some sort of tips or some inspiration or um, you're brand new to this, you have no clue how to use them, there's many, many ways. Um, so mine are, are created with a, a high quality base. It's grapeseed oil, vitamin E oil, and then I have another blend. I have other blends in there too, which I'm not going to reveal. And um, so then depending on the formula, obviously, I stack about, I would say 150 essential oils in my formulary in order to create uh, the formulas that I sell on my site. So they are all made from 100% uh, essential oils or uh, absolutes. And so you're actually getting the ashe uh, from the plant itself. And then there are also herbs and roots and resins and sometimes um, lodestones or pyrite, other things like that, sometimes coyote bones, um, other uh, steel wool, uh, other items and curios, depending on the formula that you're purchasing. And it does tell you on my site what is in the oil. So you can, if there's a scent you absolutely despise or you're allergic to, or um, I do have a couple that you cannot use on your skin because they contain cayenne, um, though that is all noted on the site. I, my, my formulas are listed they're, they're not exact because I don't want to reveal my formulas, obviously, but the things that you need to know about are listed there so you can make an educated decision for yourself. Um, so I have a couple of, I'm not going to show you the brands because I'm not here to like talk shit about anyone. I'm just um, sort of giving examples of what what I would not buy. And the reason I have these is because I did buy them when I was very, very young. Probably, you know, 14, 15, I was doing the same thing as everyone else. I was going to the local Botanica or witchcraft shop and they had all these little bottles of oil and, um, you know, in brightly colors and uh, nothing else in the bottle, just oil. And, um, you know, you would purchase your condition oil which is another term that uh, hoodoo oils and conjure oils are referred to as. So you would go in and you need, you know, lover return oil or, you know, damnation oil or breakup oil or whatever. So those are specific conditions that you're looking for oils to use in uh, in the workings for these, these situations or these goals you're trying to achieve. So like I said, I'm not going to show the brand here. I just have a couple of options of old oils that I don't I don't use anymore one's empty one's not empty I've had it for a very long time so one looks like this and you if you look at it see how like watery looking that is so on the front the um, ingredients are duo prime 70 I don't know what that is uh, fragrance DNC red number 17, DNC blue number 01, and DNC violet number 02. So I don't know what dual prime is. I'm betting it's a chemical. And the other, so what else is in here is fragrance and then three dyes to make it this color. So there's no roots in there or curios or resins or essential oils. It's all um, synthetics. 
Now, there's nothing wrong if you like using these types of oils. That's completely fine. But what I just want to make everyone aware of is that you are using a synthetic chemical. When you add it to your candles, it is going to ignite and you're going to be breathing it. So it's a lot different than um, burning a natural oil. Uh, you're not going to have the same chemical throw off. And the essential oils, once they hit the flames, they evaporate because they evaporate at a really, um, they're, they, they're very delicate and they evaporate very easily. So, um, so that's one thing, you know, why I prefer not to, not to use, um, oils like that. I don't, I try to keep synthetics out of my work. Obviously the waxes and things that we use in our candles have, um, have, you know, chemicals in them and you know, synthetic ingredients in them. And you can't completely get away from that unless you're using a 100% beeswax candle, which I do use a lot in my work. Um, and I, I prefer if I'm making my own candles to, to make them out of that. So, um, but I do try to, I think when you use a real oil made of natural ingredients and blended, you have to figure all of these recipes for these condition oils um, began as an herbal recipe. People weren't, you know, uh, 300 years ago, people weren't pumping this out of a factory looking like this, you know, with the, you know, violet number 70 in it or whatever the hell that is. No, these were herbal recipes. They were, they began as a, as a, a list of a recipe, a formula with herbal ingredients in it. And you would soak these herbs in the oil and you would, you know, give it some time to sort of uh, saturate and get the essences and the ashe out of the herbs into the oil. And then you would bottle the oil and you would use it. So either for medicinal purposes, spiritual purposes, whatever, massage purposes, you know, um, you know, whatever. So when you buy something that's completely void of that recipe, it's kind of, to me, it's kind of like a... I don't know. It's a real like stab in the back. It's like, why, you know, why, um, why waste your money on something that has literally no shred of what the original recipe was? So for me, it's a violation of just, I'm, I'm pretty traditional with things. And for me, it's a violation of that. Um, so, you know, it's just something that kind of bugs me. And I think if you think about it, it'll probably start to bug you too. That once you realize that what you're using is just a bottle of chemicals and it has nothing to do with the historical, um, the historical recipes and all of the knowledge and education that we have of these herbs and for our herbal formulas and they aren't even being utilized anymore. Basically, it's just um, somebody selling a, a small bottle of chemicals just for profit. There's nothing in it that is you have to have the ashe from the herbs that affects the condition for you so you know we know that um things like solomon seal bring success and uh you know basil can be used for love or protection or money frankincense is used for exorcism or protection so if you were you know going to buy a formula and it's supposed to have these items in it and it no longer does well then, what exactly is giving the oil its its power? Where what what's giving it its energy? What's giving it its ashe? Why would it work for you? So it's just something to think about. Um, this is another very popular size uh, or or type of oil I see sold. Again, not giving names. So those are really the only two I know of that are their their ingredients are just completely synthetic i don't know about other uh small shops out there that are hand making their oils and there there are many of those I, I don't know how everybody else does it but these are two very large lines that um it is completely synthetic the ingredients in there because it's it's listed right on there so um and i also wanted to share with you my uh, my Van Van oil recipe, which is a very, very popular condition oil. You can use it for almost anything to enhance luck, to bring protection, to break jinxes. It's very all purpose. So it's a lot of people's favorite. So my um, my recipe is you have to have a base oil of your choice. Like I said, I prefer grapeseed oil. Uh, you could use sunflower oil or safflower oil. Those are both available in your grocery store. Then I add about, uh, and this is a half ounce bottle that I'm making here. 
So if you want to make a larger bottle and let it set, that's that's your prerogative. But I'm just uh, most people aren't going to do that. They I'm trying to make this very simple so that this is maybe actually something that people will try. So it's a small half ounce bottle. I would add about 10 drops of lemongrass essential oil, about three drops of palmarosa essential oil. I would add pyrite gravel, ginger root, dried ginger root. Let me specify that because if you add fresh herbs or roots to oils, they're going to mold. You will, you will find a layer of mold on the top of your oil after a while. Um, dried lemongrass, dried galangal root, dried patchouli, and dried vervain. So those are my ingredients for my Van Van oil. Um, and maybe you will want to try that on your own. And like I said, it's a really great all-purpose oil. You can use it for anything. And uh, so it's a great thing to have on hand because then uh, for some people who maybe don't have access to a lot of things or maybe cannot afford a lot of oils, they, uh, you can have sort of an all-purpose one that you can use uh, on for, for, several, for several conditions or for several goals. So, so I hope that that helps you with making uh, an educated decision about uh, choosing, about how you choose your oils or uh, what you look for when you're purchasing them. So, you know, basically when you go to buy the oil, it should not smell rancid, which is, uh, it can smell kind of, um, I guess sort of maybe musty smelling or it'll just smell off. It should have a fresh, uh, you know, natural smell that you should be able to tell that it is made from, uh, if it lists the ingredients of the essential oils, you should be able to smell those. They're very strong. And then there should be roots and curios and herbs right in the bottle so that as you're using it, it's continually imbued with that, with that ache. So, um, yeah, so those are just a few things to look out for, and I hope that that helps you, and I hope you all are having a great week, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.